So we're right here along the banks of the Whetstone River in Cardington at the Maxwell Park and what we have found these holes in the ground and a lot of people think that they are snake holes but they are actually crawdad holes. Snakes don't really have anything to dig with. If you take a little mud ball and you drop it down in there you will hear water because both of these holes are connected in the bottom underneath there and there is water in the bottom for the, the crawdad who likes to live in water. I am sure that at some time or another people have seen snakes climbing out of a hole because they do look for holes in the ground uh, to get down deep below the frost line for hibernation. And then they do emerge from those holes. So somebody probably has seen that. Sometimes you see a little chimney um, of mud that, that is over a hole. Um, that's what we see here. Uh, this chimney has kind of collapsed and has kind of filled in. Uh, he was cleaning out his house. If we move that, we will see there is another crawl dad hole. And as he cleaned out from that last rain, uh, he accidentally sealed himself inside. But as long as he doesn't want to go anywhere, that's fine. You can see that deep down in there is a darker clay. He dug down to a, a layer where he threw the topsoil to some darker subsoil, some clay that is down in the bottom of his hole. So those are crawdad holes, not snake holes. And this little mud chimney is another crawdad hole. So I climbed down here to get a closer look at this cool rock that looks like fossils. And when I moved it, I disturbed the home of this little girl. And when I picked her up, she was loaded with eggs. Look at all those. Isn't that really cool? Now, when I look on the side of her, I'm looking to see if she has red, pink. No, she does not. That's good. Right here, if she would have had red on the side of her, then she would have been the invasive species kind of crawdad that has been getting into our waterways. Uh, they call Rufus sided, red sided. Oh, I have an invasive species lab at school that I do with the kids, and I have one that is preserved in a, in a Lexan block so that we can check him out and it's got red on the sides of it and this one does not so I know that she is a good Ohio native species that is supposed to be here so I'm going to further check out this very cool rock and flip it over and see if there are any good fossils on the other side then I'm going to carefully put it back to protect that mama